First Alert meteorologist Darren Peck is here tracking the rain coming our way. What a yeah. difference just a couple of days makes, Darren. Yeah, I'll start with that difference, and we'll use today's drop as the example is, and then we're going to set the stage. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be 10 degrees uh, colder e even than today by the time we get to tomorrow. But let me just show you where the current numbers are. Go ahead and pick out your part of the bay. The thing about these numbers is we're already like 10 degrees cooler than we were yesterday. You'd gotten used to numbers getting into the low and mid 70s. So a lot of these numbers have gone down into the low and mid 50s. These are daytime highs. Tomorrow I'll take about five or seven degrees off this. But I just want to use one other set of numbers. And the one I'm going to put on here now is specific not to tomorrow morning, but to Friday and Saturday morning. Now pick out your part of the bay. And look at Livermore, you're going down into the 30s. Go to check out the North Bay up here. We're going to see temperatures by Friday morning that are down into the mid 30s for a lot of those coldest inland valleys. Santa Rosa, that's going to be you. Tomorrow won't be this cold. Tomorrow it should be low 50s, upper 40s. But tomorrow the story is the arrival of the rain. So let's get into that. You can see the cold air coming our way with this system, but it's the rain within it that arrives tomorrow in time for the commute. So watch the well organized line of rain right there between 5 a.m and 8 a.m. That's our Thursday morning commute. It's going to be rainy enough. Streets are going to be slick. Windshield wipers will be going. And then once that widespread line of rain moves off to the east, we then find ourselves looking at the isolated on again, off again, scattered showers with occasional thunderstorms mixed in. And it, there's going to be a lot more time on Thursday and Friday when you're not getting rained up than when you are. But we're never going to be able to really remove the chance here at any point for one of these stray showers to come through and give you a, a, maybe even a brief downpour because the potential's there for some of these to come in the form of a thunderstorm. If we look at the totals for the whole time frame, Thursday and Friday, we're looking at rainfall numbers that get up to about a half an inch of rain, maybe three quarters of an inch of rain total. So it's not like the rain amounts themselves are overwhelming with this. We can handle that. This is the more interesting aspect of this. This is the Storm Prediction Center once again, shading in the entire Bay Area in that light green for having a 20% chance that you get an isolated thunderstorm. And it's going to be cold enough with this. We're going to get a light dusting of snow on some of the Bay Area peaks. Mount Hamilton, maybe Loma Prieta in the North Bay. Uh, Mount St. Helena is going to get a light dusting of snow on it. We could see snow down to as low as 2,000 feet. I don't think we get big accumulations down to 2,000 feet. You know, that could be Mount Tam, but I don't think you get big accumulations there. I think you could get some light flurries, though, and it's a bit breezy out there now. The wind is not too big of a factor with this system, although it will get windy again as we get into Friday. As the system's leaving, we'll start to pick up some more offshore winds from it. So those are kind of the headlines from this. If we look at the seven-day forecast, just to get an idea on the widely varying stretch of numbers, we're going to start out looking at the inland microclimate. We know we've already covered our chance for thunderstorms here. We've got some good news for the weekend. We're able to take rain out of the forecast here for Saturday and Sunday. Just a few clouds. And then look at the warm-up. That is a 79-degree day back there by the time we get to Wednesday. So as dramatic as the change has to be right now to bring us back down into the mid-50s for the next few days and especially give us those cold mornings, we're going to rebound right back to where we were by the middle of next week, and it'll be full force spring all over again.